Hello, I'm Kari Van Grinsen. It's my pleasure to introduce our project, Accommodative Contact Lenses for Press Biopa Correction, supported by NIH Common Fund Programs. It has been predicted that by the year 2020, there will be 1.4 billion people worldwide affected by press biopia. Providing a practical cor correction for press biopia would have extremely high impact upon the general population. Most patients wear monovision glasses to correct press biopia, but they suffer loss of stereoposis and must learn to ignore a phantom blurry image. Some patients use bifocal or trifocal glasses, but this is inconvenient since it requires that they move their eye or head in order to select the right segment of the lens for clear vision at the correct distance. Technologies in our research group enable us to develop a contact lens with tunable focal lengths, which will be used for correcting press biopia. We make soft and flexible variable focus lenses from the curved interface between oil and saline. The interface curvature can be adjusted by voltage applied between electrodes. This allows us to control the focal length of the lens to get clear vision at different distances. Flexible electrodes and circuits of the tunable lenses were fabricated by applying a coating of conductive polymers or thin metals directly on flexible substrates. Thanks to these flexible electrodes and circuits, we can fabricate our liquid tunable lenses with high flexibility and they can be wrapped on curved surfaces. The power supply of the tunable lens is realized by solar energy. We have developed a dye-sensitized solar cell with both solar energy conversion and energy storage functions to provide power to our tunable lenses at any time. We have built a state-of-the-art femtosecond laser microfabrication system, which we use to create high-precision structures on the contact lens and integrate the tunable lens, electrodes, and solar cells into these structures. And of course, we have a talented team to realize our thoughts. Thank you very much for watching.